as much in common with the great cities of Italy, striking art and architecture, including the landmark facade of this historic toy building, flair in fashion and design, which has long been a hallmark of the flat iron district that we're in today, and also, most importantly, a passion for good food. And today, that love affair is about to become even more intense with the opening of Italy, New York. There's a wonderful word in Italian, ideatore the guy who had the idea. You are the ideatore of Italy as it was born in Torino in Piemonte, and now it's spreading throughout the world. Can Italy translate in different countries? Ah, yes. Italy is, uh, for me, is a universal format. Because the Italian food is like in every world, and every people in the world want to eat and to live some Italian people is normal. Lydia Bastianic, the only word for this Italy is congratulations. Well, thank you very much, Fred. Uh, uh, you know, uh, I've been uh, at Italian food since 1971 here in America, and to see it come to this point, it's a great, great gratification. Describe this kind of pride. Well, I'm proud uh, on many levels. That's the thing. I'm, I'm proud, first of all, that Italy is in New York. I'm proud of the amazing Italian products. I'm proud of my American farmers. I'm proud of our American-born cooks who all collaborate to create this harmony of Italian-ness that isn't yet fake. This is not Disneyland of Italy. This is the real thing as an Italian would. How will you maintain quality? It's not even an issue. This is all about creating a quality experience. So from its inception to the first imported goods to Everything about this place breeds quality, and that's really because what Italy is about is about interpreting the Italian of the culture, of the Italian table, to Americans. The best of dining, the best of shopping, all in one place. And if we if we're going to speak in the Italian vernacular, then we're going to speak about quality. I have a double espresso macchiato, which means stained with a little bit of milk, it's not a cappuccino. Is there any secret to actually drinking coffee? I think that uh, uh, the, great, uh, the great secret uh, is just that you have to consider your coffee as a true pleasure. And this allows you to design uh, the coffee you like more and ask it then directly to the barista. And the barista has to satisfy you. The quality is better. It's all of these artisan foods that you would have to go to the individual towns and the makers to get to. That's very much in the slow food spirit. The idea of merchandising is Oscar Farinetti's. I mean, that's a businessman. He made his fortune in electronics in a sort of best buy of washing machines. Uh, these big box white goods stores. He knows how to put markets together. But it's hard as in food. Questa è una grande opportunità che ci offre la crisi. Il fatto che magari si può spendere meno nei ristoranti e uno decide di cucinare a casa. Noi abbiamo un sacco di prodotti da cucinare a casa e li raccomandiamo di cucinarli all'italiana. I say this in part because frankly I want Italians to know that we have a great food culture here. And a lot of times they come and think that only they have everything. And you know how I love Italy, that's obvious. But it's important to understand that the methodology of Italy is fantastic, but when correctly applied elsewhere, can create great cuisines elsewhere, as in New York. Absolutely, and that's really the kind of cooking we're doing, and I haven't invented this phrase, we're doing New Yorkese cooking, which is Italian as we do it here. And it's all of the good things of, eat, of Italia and Italy and Italy and us all put together on a plate in a very simple way so that the ingredients themselves shine much more brightly than the cook. We had together representatives of local governments together with a global vision. And uh, I think we can proud to say that uh, 
This is somehow typical Italian, typically New Yorker. Seventy percent of the products here have not been imported to the United States previously, and that's what is, uh, is going to be the special element. And plus, we have the education, and actually, that's under my uh, my direction. The education, continuing uh, the exposure, if you will, of the Italian language, of the Italian table, but from every aspect: the sociological, the anthropological. You know, I'm into all of that because food is so much more than just a bite in the mouth. Because food is so much more than just a bite in the mouth.